The industry of antenna alignment is currently dominated by two methods which arguably fall on opposite sides of the spectrum in terms of accuracy and general correctness. Firstly, there's the old method, which entails using a compass to perform the azimuth alignment and a slant level to perform the tilt alignment. Then, uh, in contrast, there's the most reliable available method, which entails purchasing a standalone hardware software solution that is specifically developed for antenna alignment. However, these devices usually cost about 100,000 Rand. Uh, you can see some examples in the accompanying report. The proposed solution for this project then, in response to this ultimatum which engineers are essentially confronted with, is to develop a mobile application which enables the user to perform azimuth alignments using a smartphone's built-in magnetometer with magnetic north as reference and uh, to perform tilt alignments via inclination sensing using the device's accelerometer. This antenna alignment app does not guarantee the high level of accuracy that top tier products might achieve. Instead, it offers a practical, affordable solution to the average user who simply wants to perform a reasonably accurate antenna installation. The widespread availability of smartphones in our modern era also speaks for the feasibility of this solution. Here you can see me at a site where I installed an imaginary antenna for testing purposes. Then I walk to another site at which I also installed an antenna. I linked these two antennas, as may be seen from the dotted blue line between them. Then I selected this link so that it may be referenced on the aim screen of the app. Uh, you can see that the selected link is now shown as a solid purple line. After selecting the link, I navigated to the aim screen. I first recalibrated the device and then I performed the alignment by ensuring that the blue dot representing the target antenna is positioned within the specified threshold zone indicated by the circle in the middle of the screen. This process will then simply be repeated at the other end of the link. The completion of this project has provided me with valuable experience in the process of identifying a problem, coming up with a solution to that problem, and then implementing the solution in spite of whatever challenges may come up along the way. I've also realized the importance of successful communication with potential users in order to accurately convey the usefulness of the proposed solution.